Today we're going to have a look at the Bulova UHF quartz watch. This particular model has a black military dial and olive green NATO style strap. This watch has an MSRP of $375, but I was able to find a factory refurbished one in 100% new condition for only $99. At that price, this is a fantastic watch. So wristwatch check, again I'm wearing my Seiko Recraft with the green and gold dial. Anyhow, let's get this box open. Inside the box came this letter, it's blah blah blah, committed to customer service. Anyhow, you can pause it if you want to read it. Like the Seiko Recraft, uh, the presentation box that comes with this pull of a watch is nothing special, just a cardboard box. Kind of expect more for 375 bucks, but anyway. So what exactly is Bulova's UHF technology? As I understand it, the UHF movement employs a three-pronged quartz crystal that produces a vibrational frequency of 262 kilohertz, which is eight times faster than a generic quartz movement. The upshot of this is that a watch using a UHF movement is more accurate and has a sweeping second hand. The watch features a screw down crown and as you can see it offers a nice easy to read military dial. The watch has a pretty good loom with all the numbers as well as the hands being very easy to read at night. The sweeping second hand is one of the great features of this watch as it's not a feature you normally find in quartz watches. While I was initially skeptical of the NATO-esque band that comes with the watch, I found it to be very comfortable and seems exceptionally well built with stainless steel hardware, including a signed buckle. You'll notice that the crown is signed with the uh, Bulova tuning fork logo. The watch feels great on the arm and the strap fits my large wrist nicely. To set the watch, unscrew the crown. and at the first position you can change the date and change the time in the second position, pretty much like any other watch. Anyway, here's WatchBot to give you some of the watch specs. The watch is 42 millimeters wide, water resistant to 100 meters, and takes a 22 millimeter watch band. Thanks WatchBot. There are several different styles in this line, including a nice looking chronometer with a cream colored dial, that I almost purchased instead of this watch. Anyhow, overall I'd say it's a really good watch at $99. Yeah, at this price point it's not bad. Uh, I wouldn't pay the asking price of $375, but at $99, yeah, it's a great watch. In fact, I like the UHF movement so much that I'm considering their uh, Sea King watch, which has the same movement. Anyhow, that's all I have for this review. If you like my videos, please share them and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.